Chapter 1. Beneath the Surface The sound of stilettos echoed through the marble-floored lobby of Steel Design Studios, a pristine glass-walled building that stood tall against the busy backdrop of Manhattan. Elena Cole, with her sharp eyes and flawless posture, swept in through the automatic doors. Heads turned as they always did. She was, after all, the rising star of New York's fashion scene, but Elena barely noticed the admiration or the envious glances. Her mind buzzed with thoughts about her upcoming collection, which had to be perfect. Every thread, every stitch had to scream brilliance. Her mentor, Victor Steele, expected nothing less. Victor, she mused, with an inward sigh as she rode the elevator up to the top floor. He had taken her under his wing two years ago when she was still a nobody trying to make it in an industry that swallowed the weak whole. Back then, she was grateful, indebted even, for the opportunity. Now that gratitude was beginning to sour, like a too sweet wine gone bad. He had become a shadow over her creative process, always watching, always controlling. She stepped into his office, where the panoramic view of the city stretched out behind him like his personal empire. He sat at his sleek desk, flipping through sketches, Elena's latest designs. Elena, he greeted, without looking up. His tone was neutral, but Elena knew better. Victor had a way of making the simplest words feel loaded with meaning, like they were part of some grander design she could never fully see. Victor, she said, keeping her voice steady. He finally lifted his head tapping the edge of the sketch in front of him. These, they're good. Good, she repeated, her heart sinking at the lukewarm compliment. The designs had come from a place deep inside her, ideas that felt bolder, truer, than anything she had done before. Victor leaned back in his chair, studying her for a long moment. They're daring, but too much so. You're straying from what works, Elena. People come to steel design for luxury, femininity, not whatever this is. He waved a hand over the androgynous figure she had drawn. Sharp lines, muted colors, a rebellion against the soft, flowing silhouettes Victor preferred. Her jaw clenched, but she forced herself to nod. I understand. She didn't, not really. How could she? This was her art. Her soul laid bare on the page. She was tired of designing for someone else's vision, tired of molding herself into an image that wasn't hers. Victor smiled as if her compliance pleased him. I know you'll adjust. You always do. Elna left his office in silence, the weight of his words pressing down on her. As the elevator doors closed behind her, the city's skyline flickered through the glass. She wasn't sure how much longer she could keep pretending, pretending that this life this image was all there was to her. Later that evening, after the long hours at the studio had bled into night, Elena found herself at a small, dimly lit bar, far from Steel Design's shiny walls. It wasn't her usual scene. She preferred sleek rooftop lounges where the fashion elite gathered. But tonight, she needed something different. She needed to disappear for a while. She sipped her drink, her mind replaying Victor's critique over and over until the words became a dull hum in the background. Maybe he was right. Maybe she had gone too far with her designs. Maybe it was time to return to the safety of what she knew. Nice suit, came a voice beside her. Elena turned and blinked. Sitting next to her was a person whose appearance made her blink twice. They wore an outfit that was part tuxedo, part dress their short hair dyed in a rainbow of colors, and their makeup was bold, glittering under the low lights of the bar. They smiled, their lips a shocking shade of electric blue. Thanks, Elena replied, though she hadn't put much thought into what she was wearing, just a simple black dress, functional, nothing that called too much attention. Let me guess, the person continued, their eyes sparkling with mischief. Fashion designer? Elena tilted her head. How could you tell? You've got the look, they said with a wink, 
Too polished to be anything else. I'm Sam, by the way. They, them. Elena, she replied, though she hesitated before giving her own pronouns. It was such a simple thing for Sam. But for her, for Elena, pronouns felt like a part of the very identity she was struggling with. The image of femininity she had been constructing for years now felt like a cage. Sam leaned in a little closer, their smile softening. You seem like you've got a lot on your mind. Want to talk about it? For the first time that day, Elna let herself breathe. She wasn't sure what it was about Sam, their confidence, their freedom, but something inside her cracked open. Maybe it was the way they wore their identity so easily, like a second skin, or the fact that they didn't seem to care about fitting into any box. I've been designing all day, Elena said, her voice lower now, as if confessing a secret. But nothing feels right. Sam nodded, as if they understood, without needing any more explanation. Sometimes the hardest part is realizing that what doesn't feel right is the thing you've been told is supposed to. The words hung in the air, and Elena stared down at her drink, her reflection blurred in the amber liquid. The weight of Sam's words pressed against something deep inside her, something she had been ignoring for a long time. Maybe you're right, Elena whispered, more to herself than to Sam. Sam leaned back, swirling their own drink. You don't have to figure it out all at once, you know. Just one step at a time. Elena nodded, a strange sense of comfort settling over her. One step at a time. Maybe it was time to stop letting other people's expectations shape her. Maybe it was time to figure out what she wanted, who she wanted to be. The rest of the night passed in easy conversation, but Sam's words stayed with her. They lingered even after she had returned home and stared at her reflection in the mirror. A reflection she wasn't sure she recognized anymore. Maybe it was time to start asking some hard questions, questions that had no simple answers. Chapter 2. Unraveling Threads The next morning, Elena stood in front of the mirror in her apartment, running a hand through her dark hair, still feeling the aftershocks of last night's conversation with Sam. It was as though they had opened a door she hadn't realized was there. One step at a time, they'd said. But what would that first step even look like? Her closet was filled with carefully selected outfits, structured dresses, sharp pantsuits, elegant heels. Everything was curated to present a version of herself the world expected, a version Victor approved of. But as she stood there, something about those clothes felt wrong. The lines, the shapes, they didn't reflect what was happening inside her. She pulled out a pair of trousers and a fitted blazer, slipping them on before taking a deep breath. The image in the mirror was as sleek as ever, but she couldn't shake the feeling that she was just playing a role. Her phone buzzed, cutting through her thoughts. It was a message from Ava. Lunch today? I haven't seen you in forever. Ava, her best friend since college, was someone who had always understood her, or at least thought she did. Elena's stomach twisted. She hadn't told Ava about the growing discomfort she felt, about the questions gnawing at her. Ava was comfortable with the version of Elena she knew, the polished, successful designer who fit perfectly into the mold of femininity that society adored. But how could she explain to Ava that the Elena she knew might not even exist anymore? Still, she couldn't avoid her friend forever. Sure, noon at the usual spot? She texted back, sliding her phone into her pocket. As she walked out of her apartment and into the city streets, Elena felt the city's energy buzzing around her. People hustled from one place to another, their lives moving forward at breakneck speed. It was the way New York operated, but today it felt suffocating. She needed to move slower, to think. At the cafe, Ava was already seated at their favorite table by the window, her bright smile lighting up the room as Elena walked in. There you are! Ava stood to hug her. I thought you'd gotten lost in the fashion world again. Elena forced a smile, trying to shake off the heaviness in her chest. You know how it is. They ordered lunch, and as they settled in, Ava launched into a story about her latest escapades in the dating world, 
her bubbly laughter filling the space between them. Elena nodded, made the right noises, but her mind was elsewhere. So, what's going on with you? Ava asked suddenly, breaking through Elena's distraction. You've been so quiet lately. Elena hesitated. This was it. The moment to open up, to try and explain the confusion she'd been feeling. She looked at Ava, her closest friend, and the words almost came out. Almost. But then she saw the way Ava's eyes sparkled with the easy comfort of their relationship. How could she break that? How could she tell Ava that the Elena she knew was unraveling? Just busy, Elena said instead, a half-truth. The new collection has been a nightmare. Ava nodded sympathetically. I bet. But you always pull through. You're amazing, Elena. Everyone in the industry knows it. Elena smiled weakly, the compliment ringing hollow in her ears. How could she explain that the praise, the success, all of it felt empty when she wasn't even sure she knew herself anymore? Chapter 3. Cracks in the Facade Back at Steel Design Studios, the tension in the air was palpable. Elena could feel the weight of Victor's eyes on her as she worked, his gaze critical, like he was assessing every move she made. Her latest designs lay in front of her, sketches that were a compromise, pulled back from the bold, gender-fluid ideas she had been toying with. They were safer, more in line with what Victor expected, but the act of watering them down left her feeling hollow. Elena! Victor's voice cut through the quiet of her office. She looked up to find him standing in the doorway, his expression unreadable. He stepped inside without waiting for an invitation, picking up one of her sketches from the desk. His eyes flickered over the design, a gown that was elegant, delicate, and completely uninspired. This, he said, tapping the page, is what I'm talking about. This is steel design. Elena's stomach churned, but she nodded. She was playing the role again, the one Victor needed her to play. But the longer she did it, the more she felt like she was suffocating. Victor smiled, satisfied, and set the sketch down. I knew you'd find your way back. We'll go over the final adjustments tomorrow. He turned to leave, but paused at the door. Oh, and Elena, don't get too experimental. The world doesn't need you to reinvent the wheel. As soon as he was gone, Elena let out a shaky breath. The frustration, the anger, it was all bubbling up inside her, threatening to spill over. She couldn't keep doing this. She couldn't keep bending to fit Victor's narrow vision of what fashion and what she should be. She glanced at the corner of her desk, where her earlier, more daring sketches lay half-hidden beneath a stack of papers. She pulled them out, studying the angular lines, the strong unisex silhouettes. This was the work she wanted to do. This was what felt true. But if she chose this path, if she fully embraced the designs that reflected her shifting identity, she knew the consequences could be devastating. Victor wouldn't support it. The industry might not understand it. Her career could be at risk. Still, as Elena stared at the bold lines on the page, she knew one thing. She couldn't keep pretending. Chapter 4. The First Step That night, Elena found herself back at the bar where she had met Sam. It was a small, familiar space now, a world away from the polished perfection of her usual haunts. Here, she didn't feel the need to perform. Sam was there, as if they had been waiting for her. Their rainbow-dyed hair and glittering eyes lit up when they saw her approach. Well, well, look who's back. Elena smiled, though it felt more genuine this time. I needed to get out of my own head. Good choice, Sam said, sliding her a drink. What's going on? Elena hesitated, but the words were easier to find now. I've been designing these clothes, these outfits that don't feel like me anymore. I keep trying to make everyone else happy, but it's just... Exhausting? Sam offered. Elena nodded, feeling the truth of that single word settle over her like a weight lifting off her shoulders. I don't even know who I'm designing for anymore. Sam leaned back, considering her. 
You're designing for them, they said, gesturing to the invisible audience. The people who want you to fit a certain box, who expect you to be a certain way. But the real question is, what do you want? Who do you want to be? The question hung in the air, heavy and unavoidable. Elena had spent so long trying to fit into the roles others had set for her. Victor's protege, the successful designer, the polished woman in a world that demanded perfection. But who did she want to be? For the first time in a long time, Elna didn't have an answer. But maybe that was okay. Maybe finding the answer would be the first real step she'd ever taken. Chapter 5 The breaking point days passed, but Elena's internal struggle only grew stronger. Every moment spent at Steel Design Studios felt like she was suffocating under the weight of someone else's expectations. Victor's praise, once the highest form of validation, now felt like a pair of shackles keeping her creativity chained to a version of herself that no longer existed. His warnings echoed in her mind. Don't get too experimental. The world doesn't need you to reinvent the wheel. But Elena wasn't trying to reinvent the wheel. She was trying to reinvent herself. In her cramped office, away from the main floor of Steel Design's glamorous headquarters, Elena stared at the sketches she had hidden under her desk. These were the true expressions of who she was becoming. Bold. Fluid. Genderless. Pieces that blurred the lines between masculine and feminine, inspired by her growing understanding of herself and the people she'd met, like Sam. But the collection she was working on for Victor, the one she was expected to present at the upcoming Fashion Week, was the opposite. Safe. Predictable. Beautiful in the way that steel design had always been, but empty to her now. She couldn't do it anymore. Not like this. Elena stood abruptly, grabbing her sketches and shoving them into her bag. If she was going to make a statement, if she was going to finally stand up for herself, it had to be now. She stormed down the hall to Victor's office, ignoring the concerned glances from her co-workers. Victor looked up from his desk as she barged in, his face impassive. Elena, is something the matter? She slammed her sketches onto his desk, her heart pounding. These are my designs, the ones I want to show at Fashion Week. Victor's eyes flicked down to the pages, his face darkening. What is this? He asked coldly, flipping through the sketches. This isn't what we discussed. I know, Elena said, her voice steadier than she felt. But this is what I need to create. This is who I am. Victor's eyes snapped up to hers, narrowing. Who you are? Elena, we've built your career on a certain image. You can't just throw that away because of some, what, identity crisis? The words hit her like a punch to the gut, but she didn't back down. This isn't a crisis, Victor. This is me realizing that I've been living a lie. I'm not your perfect little designer anymore. I'm not going to create what you want just because it's safe. Victor stood, towering over her, his expression thunderous. Do you have any idea what this will do to your career? To my reputation? You're making a mistake, Elena. A career-ending one. Elena swallowed hard, her hands shaking, but she met his gaze. Maybe, but I'd rather fail being true to myself than succeed being someone I'm not. For a long moment, Victor said nothing. Then, with a dismissive wave, he turned away. Fine, he said, but don't expect me to save you when this all blows up in your face. Elena didn't respond. She turned and walked out of his office, her pulse still racing, but something had shifted inside her. For the first time in years, she felt a strange sense of peace. She was free. Chapter 6. The Fall and Rise the days leading up to Fashion Week were a blur of frantic preparation. Elena threw herself into her work, pouring every ounce of her energy into her new collection. It wasn't perfect, it wasn't polished in the way steel design demanded, but it was hers. Sam visited her studio during the late nights, offering quiet support and feedback as she struggled to bring her vision to life. They became her sounding board, her anchor, 
reminding her with every conversation that she didn't need to be anything other than who she was becoming. You're doing something amazing, Sam said one night, as Elena added the final touches to a piece, a sharply tailored jacket with flowing feminine details. You're creating clothes that challenge people to see beyond the binary. That's powerful. Elena smiled, though her nerves were still raw. I just hope people get it. Sam shrugged, a mischievous glint in their eye. If they don't, that's their loss. But trust me, you're going to shake things up. Fashion Week arrived in a whirlwind. Elena stood backstage, surrounded by models dressed in her collection. They looked stunning, each outfit a carefully crafted blend of masculine and feminine, hard and soft. The show was about to begin, and for the first time, Elena felt truly terrified. She had no idea how the audience would react. Victor's words still lingered in the back of her mind, a constant reminder of the risks she was taking. If the show flopped, if the critics tore her apart, her career could be over. But there was no turning back now. The lights dimmed, the music started, and the models began to walk. Elena watched from the wings, her heart in her throat as her creations came to life on the runway. Each step, each twirl of fabric felt like a declaration. This is who I am. This is what I have to say. As the final model walked, Elena held her breath, waiting for the audience's reaction. There was a moment of silence, too long, too heavy, before the applause began. It was tentative at first, but it grew louder, filling the space. Some stood, clapping with fervor. Others whispered to each other, their expressions uncertain but intrigued. Elena exhaled, her chest tight with a mix of relief and disbelief. She had done it. She had taken the risk and survived. Chapter 7 The Aftermath The reviews the next morning were polarizing. Some critics praised Elena for her boldness, calling her collection a necessary evolution in fashion and a refreshing challenge to outdated norms. Others were less kind, dismissing her work as confusing and too avant-garde. But Elena didn't care. The people who mattered, the ones who understood, had seen her. She had created something that spoke to her truth, and that was worth more than any glowing review. Victor, true to his word, had cut ties with her. Steel design was moving on without her, but that too felt like a blessing. She no longer had to pretend. She was no longer bound by his expectations. As the days passed, Elna found herself surrounded by a new circle of support. Sam remained by her side, and Ava, though initially confused by Elena's sudden shift, eventually came to understand the depth of her transformation. They had a long, tearful conversation over coffee one afternoon, where Elena explained everything, her growing discomfort with the roles she had been forced to play, her realization about her identity, and her need to be free. I'm proud of you, Ava said quietly, squeezing Elena's hand, for being brave enough to be who you are. Chapter 8 A new beginning, months after the show, Elena stood in front of her mirror once again, just like she had so many times before. But this time, she wasn't scrutinizing her reflection with doubt or uncertainty. She wasn't trying to fit into a mold or an image. She was simply looking at herself. Her hair was cropped shorter now, a style she had always wanted but never dared to try. Her clothes were a mix of tailored jackets and soft flowing fabrics that blurred the lines between masculine and feminine. And for the first time, she felt truly at home in her own skin. Her new fashion line, E. Cole, was gaining traction. It wasn't as high profile as steel design, but it was hers. She had found a niche audience that embraced her vision people who understood the beauty of challenging gender norms and who saw fashion as more than just clothing, as a form of self-expression. As she prepared for her next show, Elena felt a sense of peace that had eluded her for so long. She had taken the steps, one at a time, toward becoming who she truly was. The journey had been hard, painful at times, but it had been worth it. The door to her studio opened, and Sam stepped in, grinning. Ready for round two? Elena smiled, her heart light. More than ever. 
she no longer feared the reflection in the mirror. The woman she saw there was strong, authentic, and free. And this was only the beginning.